Welcome to Echo's Permaculture Farm, Echo's in the Valley, and I'm Francine, and today we're going to talk about the 12 principles of permaculture and how we applied it to this farm here in the Lockyer Valley. The first principle of permaculture, observe and interact, well for us that meant what is the wildlife doing? Is it threatening our self-sufficiency like the hawks and goannas eating our free-range baby chickens? Or where does the wind blow to find the best spot to place your windmills to catch the wind for power as we've done? Where does the water run so we can capture the water before it leaves the property and stays on the property longer? This we did. We interacted by adding swales, which if it ever rains long enough, do fill up. What is the best use of lantana? It changes continuously. For example, when the lantana is grow was growing, we cut it dried it to make biochar to add to the food forests and gardens and paddocks, which then capture the carbon from the air and put it back in the soil. Presently, as the grass has been quite long for due to rains a few months ago, we're now cutting the grass to use as mulch and to create gardens. Also, every roof we've built for our livestock storage and living are all capturing water for drinking through tanks. And that's how we've observed and interacted. Number two is catch and store energy. So we've placed solar panels in three areas to use and live off grid, as well as the campsite, which also now runs off grid. And we catch as much water as we can, as I said prior, and also into the dams. The dam near the house is placed to catch the breezes and cool the house in the summer. And the wind generator adds to our off-grid system. The swales hold the water in the landscape longer for the food forest. Three, third principle of the permaculture principles is obtain a yield. Well, due to the very long drought, we've lost a lot of plants, but are now beginning to recover and starting to obtain a small yield at the present. Also, our firewood bakes our food in the rocket stove. Number four of the principles is to apply self-regulation and accept feedback. A lot of the time, with the people that are on the property, we like to get all get involved in the projects and all add our little magic thoughts and touch to that. And so it's a good idea to listen, because I'd hate to be making all the mistakes. <laughs> Number five of the principles is use and value renewable resources and service and produce no waste where we try to use as much as we can and reuse, not just our things, but things that people throw out, which we then value add and make things like shade houses and we use for all sorts of things. So number six is produce no waste. We do still have a little bit of waste. We try to reuse the animal waste to make compost, teas and fertilizers and effective microorganisms. Number seven of the permaculture principles Pulls is designed from patterns. So far, we've basically just done the swales on that one. Eight is to integrate rather than segregate, and that's where everyone from all over the world who pop by here and say hello have added their little marks to the property, like murals and all sorts of things they've helped with on this property. Number nine is use small and slow solutions. So we always try and source locally, reuse and revalue other people's junk. And this is quite time consuming, but rewarding. Number 10 of the permaculture principles is use and value diversity. And we've done that through stacking uh, and stacking different plants, farm stock. There's a lot of different livestock on this property. We use hedges and value the marginal. So the vetiver grass slows the erosion on the swells and on the hills creatively use and respond to change. Well, we've tried a lot of things to make an income. We were doing the markets and that didn't go too well after a while. It became a bit of a struggle due to Asian competition. So we started making kombucha, but then the government changed the rules. So now we have a food van with a commercial kitchen, which we're setting up and we'll be able to sell our kombucha and juices from that. So, that's all from us here at the Echoes in the Valley Permaculture Farm. Hope, hope you sign in to another video or podcast.